We have more breaking news right now. The defense for Casey Anthony has just filed a motion, that motion to dismiss her murder case. And Tony Pepitone has been following the story. Tony, what have you learned? Well, the motion to dismiss Casey Anthony's indictment is one of several filings made today by the defense, indicating that they are taking a new, more aggressive defense phase, and that phase has begun. The question, of course, is how successful will they be? Now, the motion to dismiss claims the state destroyed and tampered with evidence by, quote, tampering with the victim's remains and excavating the location where Kaylee's body was found in December before defense experts could gain access to the land. The defense is continuing to argue the body was placed there after Casey was, was arrested, relying on witnesses who claim they searched nearby but found no body. But, of course, no one has shown they searched the exact spot where the body was found dumped. Still, the defense argues the indictment must be dismissed because Casey's constitutional rights were violated by the evidence recovery effort. Now, no comment from the state attorney's office, but the aggressive tone of the motion is something we've seen more of since death penalty attorney Andrea Lyon was added to the case. And the motion to dismiss the indictment today certainly is an aggressive move. In criminal cases, there are very few ways to get an indictment dismissed, and the state usually can easily prevail simply by stating it has evidence that supports at least a charge. But today's motion to dismiss along with other filings, including a request that the tapes of Casey's video visitations with her family be destroyed, they're all rooted in these constitutional issues, and that's where Andrea Lyon and her team excel, raising constitutional issues that may not persuade a trial judge, but could lay the groundwork for appeals. Now, another motion filed today, a renewed motion for change of venue. The defense is asking specifically that Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach County be considered. They say that the feeling here is so poisonous against Casey Anthony, that Central Florida is so hostile that there's no way they could pick a jury from here. Again, the motion to dismiss, alleging that the state tampered with and destroyed evidence that could have allowed the defense to show evidence of Casey Anthony's innocence. That remains up for argument, and I'm sure we'll be hearing some in a courtroom near you real soon. Yeah, do we know when we might hear about these motions? No, no hearing's been scheduled. It's up to the judge. Okay, Tony Pipitone, thanks very much. And Local 6 is working closely with CBS to bring you a 48 Hours Mystery special about Casey Anthony. Shaking. I was just shaking. Got a clue? 48 Hours Mystery. The network just released a new promo calling it, quote, a case that's riveted the country. The program will examine the case and take a closer look at how Casey's parents are working to prove her innocence. The 48 Hours Mystery will air October 17th right here on Local 6.